RMU TV presents a Jocelyn Burns production. RMU Tonight with special guests Master of Dance. Joshua Manuel. Here's your host, Morgan Torsha. Welcome back to RMU Tonight. If you're watching this, that means either we haven't been canceled or you're having a really, really lame dream. Nah, but if you are watching this, I'm sure you have one major question. Where is that tall, pale, and handsome man, Greg Sutton? Because clearly, I am not him. Let's face it. Thank you. Let's face it, I'll never be that adorable or that tall. Any hoozle. In true Greg fashion, let's just jump into some current events. I'm sure all of you RMU students have noticed that construction has officially begun on the Charles L. Sewell Center. Have you guys seen that going on? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This means that when you pull into the beautiful campus of RMU, once covered in fresh green lawn, beautiful flowers, and John Tucci waving hello at you, it has been replaced with yellow construction trucks, a fenced off lower Sewell, and the weirdest skinniest speed bumps I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah. And piles of bricks from the demolished exterior of Seoul. Yes, that means there is a terrifying, crumbling Robert Morris logo right in your face. But it'll all pay off in the end. Construction will end and the center will be done in January of 2018. Or so they say. We all remember what happened with the rec center. Oh, yes, we do. Aside from Robert Morris news, the Houston Astros are World Series champions. Yeah. 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 Woo. With that comes all sorts of celebrations, including the infamous victory parade. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Sure. However, for one Astros player, this posed a huge problem. Justin Verlander had to make a choice, attend the parade he's been dreaming of his whole career, or avoid moving his wedding to A-lister Kate Upton. He definitely has some more serious problems than me. My usual issues are, issues, excuse me, are do I want to pay my phone bill or eat something other than ramen this week? <laughs> the poor thing. Does he, have, does he have to choose between attending his parade or marrying a world famous supermodel? Again, the poor thing. In pop culture this week, Selena Gomez and The Weeknd recently broke up. Ooh. But, but, Ooh. fear not. Justin Bieber was there as the boyfriend turned ex-boyfriend turned friend turned enemy turned frenemy turned close companion to cry on. Aww. They've been seen biking, walking around, and even going to church twice in one day. Not sure the reasoning behind that one, but Justin, if you're praying for Selena to take you back, between the arrests, tantrums, and your pretty face, and all the gossip in the tabloids, it may be too late to say sorry, even to the big man upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Word on Hollywood Boulevard is also rumors that Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are secretly married. The two have, right, right. The two have been seen on multiple occasions wearing wedding bands on their fingers, but there's also shots of Miley without hers on as well. Miley, enough with the double lives. Are you married? Or are you suffering from double life flashbacks from your Hannah Montana days? <laughs> you don't get the best of both worlds in real life, too. But fear not, in latest President Trump news, Lord knows there's enough of that, a woman has recently found herself unemployed for flipping off the Trump motorcade. The photo of her giving the vehicle the middle finger while riding her bike went viral, and her boss was very displeased. Not because it went viral, but because she violated company social media policy by using it as her profile picture. But worry not, she's not too broken up. 
This isn't the first time she's flipped off the motorcade, and online supporters are calling her a Shiro and using the hashtag Her2020. Judging by the internet, the, uh, this has definitely created a platform for the finger-flicking mother of two, and she takes pride in being the symbol of a protest against our American government. This won't be the last time someone will be flicking off our commander-in-chief. Would you guys agree? Yeah. So don't go away. We have a great show for you tonight, and we'll be right back. Guys, play us out. So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. A few students here at RMU have shown a certain passion for dance, but not exactly how you think. Let's check it out. Richard! Come on, man, you can do this! I don't think I can, man. Are you kidding me, Richard? It's just so hard, Steve. And every time I do it, I just end up crying myself to sleep. Listen here, Rich. If you do this, you will forever go down in history. Yeah, I get that. But my body will ache for months. My tiny feet will never be the same. You're right. Your feet won't be the same. After this, your tiny little feet will be champions. As much as I love being champion, I just don't think I can go through with this. God, Richard, stop being such a dick. You know how long we've been preparing for this moment? Longer than we should have. Not long enough, Rich. We need to win this thing, because if we don't, we won't be able to pay rent. So I need you to dance your heart out, because this Dance Dance Revolution tournament is not going to be handed to you. You need to earn it. If this tournament is our main income, don't you think we should, you know, find jobs? I mean, we can't even afford an actual dance mat. Do you want to be a loser who bags groceries? Or do you want to be a loser who kicks butt at DDR? I think I would pick the loser who has a reliable source of income. Let me ask you something, Rich. Which sounds better? Hi, I'm Rich, and I like to bag stupid groceries. Or, hi, I'm Rich, and I'm super good at dancing because I play video game every week. I think the first one sounds weird, right? I agree. Saying that you play video games every night will pick up way more chicks. Man, saying that and driving up in a white van, you'll pick up some hot babes. Have you ever told
talk to a girl before? Nah, they usually run away whenever I roll up in my white van. Anyways, I'm done with this. No, Rich, come on, man. Don't quit on me. I think we have a real chance of winning this. You really think so? Rich, I know so. All right, then. Let's go dance our hearts out. Hey, guys, can I join? No, Savage. You suck at dancing. Go back to your room. Let's go. Wow, what'd you guys think of that, huh? So, don't forget to tune into the rest of the shows RMU has to offer, such as Colonial Sports Center every Thursday night at 9, uh, so excuse me, 9.30, <laughs> with the other hosts of RMU tonight, Greg Sutton and David Szymanski on the desk. Also, every other Tuesday, Sports Talk in the Berg is on air at 6.30. Watch Sam Anthony, Ian Kist, and Logan Carney debate all of the relevant topics in sports. Also catch all of the news on RMU Live at 1 o'clock on Mondays and Fridays at noon. So don't go away. We are going to be right back. And when we come back, our new in-studio band, the Rogue Musicians United, will play us a song. If you want to be in our live audience in the next show, come on down to the Academic Media Center and Patrick Henry. Come in around 6.15 and sit on the show with the rest of our amazing live audience. We'll be right back. Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires.
Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. I spy something beginning with S. Snow? No. Snow-covered trees? Nothing to do with snow. Head outside to discover incredible animals <laughs> and beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. Wow. So grab your loved ones. Don't even. And explore a world of possibilities. Come on, this way. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. In case you didn't keep... Let's give Joshua a warm welcome as he sings alongside Rogue Musicians United. Woo! Woo! Joshua! I see the deepest greens, I hear the darkest blues Might not be synesthesia because I wanna puke Go go get up and dance, go go get up and dance I try to try to keep cool but there's puke in my hands No I'm not a weirdo but my favorite song is qualifiers Why's it take two lines to do a one liner? And why's it take three beats to do a two step? Six days I got two left so I take five I can't do math but make jazz jokes so I'm flat broke Mad at lost in that black smoke, sit down if you're you're a human who thinks I can't speak for my folk. Sit down if you're a human who assumes I speak for my folk. Let that soak in your rap coats with your head hurt and your back broke. Mouth crack smoke and have black soap. Make Tommy Laren say egad. Girlies curl with Netflix. Check a 13 reasons why I'm sad. Lift your hands, lift your head. If your clothes are clean and you love your friends, try to keep them close but mostly safe from all the monsters in my bed. We're the tightest kind of respect my qualifiers. Respect my qualifiers, respect my qualifiers, respect my qualifiers, respect my, respect my. We're the best, mostly, sometimes the freshest rhymers. We're the tightest kind of respect my qualifiers. Respect my qualifiers, respect my qualifiers, respect my qualifiers, respect my. They say they're looking for me, but I don't want to hear it. You can find me at the park district volunteering with your hands disheveled and my sneakers scuffed. Use your GPS and get your Sally features up. I went to Africa, they played me on the radio. And did I weird the people out? Yeah, maybe so. Cause all they do is drive and all I do is vibe. So when I played the light, my English teacher lost her mind. She said, what type of rap is that? That's so epic, yo, it's metaphysical. Like, yeah, I didn't know. Should have said it's whimsical. Like Mike and Milo taught me. My thoughts are very lofty. Response time is very faulty. I'm far too young to lead and way too old to die. I don't play Call of Duty. Smoke you in Golden Eye. RPG Roll to Die. JPG Kobe Tie. PG 13 Cobra Kai. PPG Luke Robitaille. We the best mostly. Sometimes the freshest rhymers. We the tightest kind of. Respect my qualifiers. Respect my qualifiers. Respect my qualifiers respect my qualifiers respect my respect my we the best mostly sometimes the freshest rhymers we the tightest kind of respect my qualifiers respect my qualifiers respect my qualifiers respect my qualifiers respect my the words you hear me singing didn't sing a line before this one and you are not the one I was addressing that person took a train to Africa and simultaneous events don't happen. We are isolated temporally. And the part is never called the whole thing. And though it bothers us to know it so, know it so. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Joshua. Oh, that was no awesome. Problem. Wow. And thank you all for tuning in to RMU tonight. I would like to thank Joshua, Marcus Peterson, the producer of Masters of Dance, and of course, Rogue Musicians United. Tune in next Tuesday for Sports Talk in the Berg. We will be back in two weeks. Good night, Moon Township. Woo!